Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to today's Rock 2022 AU second album for August because it's the 15th of August today. Yay. How time flies when you're having fun. I nearly forgot that I had to do an album today. Thing reminded me this morning when he passed me an album. I actually had something really planned in mind for the 15th of August. I planned it early in the year and that has been set aside because Thing really wants me to do this album and a few subscribers have asked me, will I be doing something? So here goes. The 1st of August we did Hot August Nights with Neil Diamond. It was well received, a lot of great memories and a lot of great colours picked for photos posted. Me, however, I have not done my hot August night square. I have been way too busy. Um, did markets yesterday. I'll tell you about those in another video. And we have some life catch up in another video. But I will catch up on my squares. Um, when? Who knows? But it was lovely to see the pictures posted. I do enjoy it. So, our second album for August. Well, I don't know. People feel we should honour this artist. And Thing is a big fan, or was a big fan, depending on how you look at it. I was 16 when he was 19 when I met him. And he's been a fan as long as I have known him. So, who are we doing for our second album of the month. I have no doubt it will not come as a surprise. It is Olivia Newton-John. Yes, this album is Let It Be There. Let Me Be There, sorry. I'm a bit, bit vague still. And this is the album cover I'm showing you today. We do have other Olivia Newton-Johns, but this is the one that had the most colour and she has the best smile. So I'm not a big fan. I don't mind her music, but um, I became more of a, a fan and a follower when she started to be an advocate and spokesperson for breast cancer. She had breast cancer three times. The last time, which unfortunately was in her spine, and she died on August the 8th at the age of 73. Very humble, very lovely lady. So what can I tell you? Offhand, I know she was born in Great Britain and raised in Melbourne, Australia, in Victoria. Um, she has dual citizenship, or she did have dual citizenship, and she lived in the USA. Um, she has one daughter, and that's about personal stuff I will touch on. Um, she, I'll just read what I've got. Um, so... Let Me Be There, this album was released in 1973 and this is when she was a little bit more country and hadn't done Grease yet. And I do like some of the songs on here, but um, this would have to be Thing's favourite album. Uh, she became a worldwide sensation in, when she appeared in Grease with John Travolta in 1978. Dame Olivia Newton-John, ACDBE, born on the 26th of September, same day as my dad, 1948, and passed away on August the 8th, 19, uh, 2022. She's a singer, actress, and activist, and really a very big breast cancer spokesperson in Australia, if not worldwide. She was a four-time Grammy award-winning musician. It, her career included five number one hits and many other top ten hits on the Billboard Hot 100. With global sales of more than 100 million records, Newton John is one of the best-selling music artists from the second half of the 20th century to the present. She was a really, really lovely lady in all the interviews. Everyone um, that has given some sort of memorial speech about her in Australia has said she was very humble and what you saw is what you got. In Melbourne, there is the Olivia Newton-John Wellness Research Centre. She has lent her name to that where they research for cancer. They provide, um, it's very similar to what we have here 
in the couch wellness center um, the patients experience world-leading treatment and care complemented by wellness programs to support patients in body mind and spirit they have over 200 clinical trials in progress providing access to new breakthrough therapies and yeah she did a lot of fundraising and was a great spokesperson for breast cancer so what can we say to inspire you well i think it's a great album color there's a lot of different greens there's a red and her beautiful smile and uh, she was quite young there on the back more green in the country wearing denim so that's the album cover to inspire you some of the songs um, in 1973, uh, 1972, there was Changes, Let Me Be There in 1973, I Honestly Love You in 1974, Have You Ever Been Mellow in 1975. That would have to be my favourite song. And yes, we have the album, Have You Ever Been Mellow. Hopelessly Devoted to You, 1978. And the one I don't like, and when she hit this era, Physical in 1981. So I hope you're inspired by the album color cover to make something or add to your project. Um, you can always check out Greece and if there's something in Greece that would inspire you or you can help promote breast cancer awareness and do something in the breast cancer pinks or the breast cancer ribbon because I think it's important that we always make um, cancer to the forefront. So guys, a bit of a short video today. I'll be back in a couple of days um, with a catch up and some life news. So take care, stay well, make sure you are inspired by Olivia Newton-John. Bye for now.